Hi, and welcome to another edition of Find the Density with Mr. Taylor. That's me. We have today a rectangular prism. It's a very thin one, but it is a rectangular prism nonetheless. We are going to find the density of this. In order to find the density, of course, we need two things. We need the mass and the volume, right? Density equals mass divided by volume. We're finding how much mass fits into a given amount of space. So let's start by figuring out the volume of this rectangular prism. Got my trusty ruler right here. The thin dimension is 3 millimeters, which is 0 0.3 centimeters. The other dimensions are 7.6. Now it looks like a square, but I'm going to measure it just to make sure. And indeed, it is 7.6, the other two dimensions. So let's write that down. Zero point three centimeters, dimension two, seven point six centimeters, dimension three, also seven point six centimeters. So what is the volume? The volume of a rectangular prism is the length times the width times the height, the three dimensions, whatever you want to call them, multiply together. And if we do that, what do we get? Got my trusty Texas Instruments here. 7.6 times 7.6 times 0 0.3. What do we get? 17.328. Now our measurements are to one tenth, so we're going to round to one tenth. So this becomes 17.3. And then what are the units? Centimeters times centimeters times centimeters. That's centimeters cubed. There is our volume. Next we need the mass. Here is our triple beam balance. We will find the mass on the triple beam balance. Put on our, uh, our rectangular prism. Try the hundreds. No, it's less than 100. Move it back. Try 50. 50. Less than 50. Let's move it back to 20. Ah, it goes down. It's more than 20. Let's try 30. More than 30. Let's try 40. Less than 40. So we'll put it back to 30. And we'll move the ones over. There we go. It's 30 and 8.5. So 38.5. Our mass is 38.5. What is the unit? The unit on these triple beam balances is grams, so 38.5 grams. Now we know that the density is equal to the mass over the volume. That's equal to 38.5 grams over 17.3 cubic centimeters. What is that? Equal to 38.5 divided by 17.3. Again, we round it to the nearest tenth. Sorry about all the reflections there. Comes out to 2.2. .2. Okay? Remember, all those hexadecimal points, they don't mean anything. 2. And where are what are our units? 
There they are right there. Grams per cubic centimeter. Grams per cubic centimeter. And that is our density of our rectangular prism. Now, if you want help remembering density equals m over v, mass over volume, here's a clever little trick that student showed me a couple years ago. Make a heart and then cut it in half. What do you get? M on top, V on the bottom. There you go. In the next episode of Find the Density, we're going to find the density of a liquid.